I definitely knew <laughs> that St. Lucians would be watching um, and hoping that they could get their first Olympic gold, well, Olympic medal, and it came as a goal. So I'm sure they're celebrating right now. That was the moment the years long rivalry between Julian Alfred and Shakari Richardson came to a head. They may have both stood on the podium after the 100 meter race in the Paris Olympics, but it was Alfred who took the top spot. It was a surreal feeling for Julianne, for sure, but it was a painful loss for her American rival. After all, people were sure Shikari Richardson would win the gold in the women's 100 meter in Paris. They just knew it. But as the women blazed through the purple track, the winner was someone unexpected. The Americans' ambitions were torn when St. Lucia's Julian Alfred delivered a stunning performance with her 10.72 seconds. Richardson's 10.87 earned her a silver. By beating Richardson in the process, Alfred quickly became the talk of the town. While fans might see the on-track rivalry between Julian Alfred and Shakari Richardson as a fierce battle, off the track, the reality is different. Alfred points out that despite the intense competition, there's a lot of mutual respect between them. That's not surprising seeing that they all undergo rigorous training to be the best in their respective events. They could respect that about each other at the very least. Julian Alfred, just like Shakori, is no stranger to trials and tribulations in life. Some days, my mother struggled to find something for us to eat, but I never gave up. I kept pushing, Julian previously shared in an exclusive interview with Olympics.com. Sadly, that wasn't the only thing they had to worry about. The very environment she grew up in was something she probably would rather forget. In episode 5 of Netflix's Sprint, she spoke about the only country named after a woman in the world and her hometown, St. Lucia. She described the town as very small, but built on the roots of resilience. However, it was not a quiet or easy town to grow up in. I grew up in poverty, said Julian, talking about her time when she used to run barefoot through fields. While poverty dealt her a tough card on one side, she was dealing with something worse on the other. She recalled, there would be gunshots throughout the night. It was a very rough community, a rough childhood. Not just in terms of the country's historical and political landscape, but also in terms of sports facilities. St. Lucia, as Julian remembers, did not have any stadiums or places to truly train. Despite it all, or perhaps because of it, she worked hard at pursuing her dreams. She admitted, Julian puts it, I just thought I could use my talent to get out of the ghetto. That she did. This year, she finally won her country's first Olympic medal, and a gold one at that. She hoped that her success would drive the improvement of training infrastructure in her country and provide support to the talents, something that she sorely missed during her time. While St. Lucia is the cause she runs for, her motivation to run is completely different. My motivation is to be the best in the world, to be my best self, the best athlete I can be, and to prove to myself that I belong here," she noted. Outrunning Shakari, along with a couple of others, in the 100-meter race during the Paris Olympics meant that Julian Alfred is indeed among the best sprinters of her generation. As you all know, Alfred and Shakari Richardson have basically been fighting for the top spot in the sport for a few years now. Some may even say that they are very close rivals, and perhaps they are. They may be enemies on the track, but it's a different matter off the track. What people see on the track, such as us being rivals outside of the track. People can be very nice as well, Julian said, speaking to Sky's Jackie Beltrao. Obviously, their rivalry is shaping up steadily, which could keep track fans on the edge of their seats for a long time. But as Alfred makes clear, the rivalry is strictly on the track. Away from the competition scene, the two seem to get along well. Alfred mentioned that she makes it a point to greet her fellow competitors and even engage with them online. Whenever I see my competitors, I do say hi to them, she explained. On Instagram, if somebody posts a picture, I'll respond to them. Same vice versa. Um, we'll have a quick chat in our DMs as well. Shakiri, she's a very sweet person to me, and so I don't have any issues with her. Alfred's open and warm nature has earned her admiration, not only from Richardson, but also from other prominent sprinters. British star Dina Asher-Smith, 
who recently reflected on Alfred's win in the 100 meters at the Brussels Diamond League, had high praise for the St. Lucian champion. Asher Smith shared her excitement about Alfred's homecoming and the celebration awaiting her back in St. Lucia, joking, I am looking forward to the pictures on social media when she goes home because I do not think she will be ready for the reception. Obviously, the current women's sprint scene is one of the fastest and most competitive in history. Not only does it make Alfred's victory in Paris even more impressive, but it also shows just how prepared she will need to be to retain the title of a world's fastest woman. For now though, she is being recognized for her amazing feat in Paris. For one, officials declared September 27th, 2024, Julian Alfred Day, which is just another honor bestowed upon St. Lucia's most famous sports person. That's not all. The Millennium Highway is going to be renamed after me. Alfred said of the kilometer-long road that winds along the northwest of the island. Then, in late October, Julian Alfred took home the Association of National Olympic Committee's award for Best Female Athlete of Paris 2024. She received the award from Pan Am Sports President Nevin Illich at the event held in Cascais, Portugal. Alfred was the only athlete from the continent to be decorated by the Association of National Olympic Committees. It is a very well-deserved award for an athlete who has had an incredible season and who made us vibrate in the sprint events at the last Olympic Games in Paris 2024. I congratulate Julian, her entire team, and of course the St. Lucia Olympic Committee, said Pan Am Sports President Nevin Illich. For Julian, But I received a lot of love and support from my country, St. Lucia, and I'm truly grateful to be able to represent St. Lucia on the global stage. Already. And that's not all. She is also among the finalists of the World Athlete of the Year 2024 awards in the Women's Track Athlete of the Year category. The yearly award honors the most standout athletes for a season. The winners for this year will be released on December 1st. Alfred's nomination is not surprising especially since she left the French capital with 200-meter silver to go with her 100-meter title. She and America's Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone are the finalists for the said award. More than awards and recognition, though, Julian Alfred has another goal in mind. As she continues finding a path to greatness, she shared that her main priority in St. Lucia will be giving back to society and helping the youngsters achieve their dreams. Being St. Lucia's first ever Olympic medalist, Julian Alfred believes there is more she can do to ensure the trend continues, and even after her retirement, more track and field stars will emerge from the island. I really want to give back to the young children of St. Lucia, she said. I want to do the same for the youth of the country, by giving back whether it's giving spikes or education and just help as long as I can. We are a small island, and I want us to continue creating legends. Speaking of legends, watch this to see how far other athletes have come.